a harbinger of positive transformation, responsible for profound impact, yet remains unaffected. For whom revolutionary changes are a passion, yet remains unchanged. Masur is a village in the Satara district of Maharashtra. It was known by a family that resided here. This family, with its high moral values, was widely respected for its religious heritage and community welfare work. With active involvement in the freedom movement of India, many of the family members were often jailed by the British. It was in this family Jeshtra Joshi was born on 28th of May, 1949. His father was a highly respected personality in his village, where he worked for the mass education of Yoga Vidya. With his teachings of Jnaneshwari and Dasabodh, he strived to inculcate ethical and spiritual values in the minds of people. The family owned a small farm and a milk business. Despite being in difficult economic condition, this family was completely dedicated towards social welfare activities. Along with others in the village, Jesh Raj and his siblings learned the Bhagavad Gita and the Upanishads. Jesh Raj Joshi's elder siblings encouraged him in his academic pursuits, often sacrificing their own interests and desires. Every day, his elder brother cycled long distances to sell milk and Jesh Raj also helped in this endeavor. Sarva Bhavanda tha jasta bhushar ahe ani jasta ye to jiste karna he ye udho mantra mala kalat hoota maji yacha pekshate mootha kaitri karna rahe ki wa mootha kaitri vishish asta he kahi mala maji mi lahan asa tenu maga yashya lahan gawat rahat asla mula bahar sa mootha jag ani mootha asa vishala ahe haa kai mala ya udha vishay samjat na hoota mala swatala samajla tar mi tya chato pahanar na the sister was not educated but uh, there was a possibility of appearing for the SSC examination and she appeared and she got through. So she was very intelligent in Sanskrit uh, as well as in, in other languages. And my brother, he was also hard working and finally he ended up as, as a press, press reporter. तकातले हे काकानीच मला शिकवलं पण पुस्तकातलं जरी काकानी मला शिकवलेलं असलं तरी एकूण संस्कृत माझ्या कानावर पडलेलं होतं मला काही रामहा रामाऊपासून काही पाठ करावं लागलं नाही त्यामुळे ते माझं काकांनी तेवढंच फक्त संस्कृत करून घेतलं ज्येष्ठराजनं माझं गणिताचं काम मात्र ज्येष्ठराजनं माझं करून घेतलं कारण गणितं काही मी केलेली नव्हती बाकी सगळी पुस्तकं मी या भावंडांची वाचली ती सहजच पण गणित काही मी केलेलं नव्हतं ज्येष्ठराजनं मात्र मला कारण तो त्यावेळेला दहावीत होता आणि दहावीपर्यंतच गणित अकरावीला असतं असं मला त्यांनी सांगितलेलं होतं दहावीपर्यंत सगळं गणित त्यांनी माझं बीजगणित आणि भूमिती हे एवढं माझं त्यानं अगदी छान करून घेतलं ज्येष्ठराजनं अगदी पाठिंबा दिला करून घेतला नुसतं नव्हे हे तुला येतच आहे हे तुला काही त्याला वेगळं काही हे नको आहे आलं आलं बघ जमलं हे बघ हे समीकरण असं हे अमुक असं पण मी अशी पाठ कर त्याची रायडर्स ही अशी हिज सेकंड सिस्टर शोभदा जॉईन द विलेज स्कूल ऍज अ टीचर सिक्युरिंग सम फायनान्शियल स्टेबिलिटी फॉर द फॅमिली अँड माय सिस्टर हॅड कम्प्लिटेड बी एस सी and then she decided to support the family so she uh, took the job of as a teacher in in the village and that salary uh, supported the family as well as education of myself as well as of my younger sister so she became a backbone of the family for quite some time jeesh raj always secured first rank in his school education tyancha naav ach jeesh raj आणि मी शाळेत शिकवत असताना बऱ्याचशा गोष्टी एकदा शिकवल्या की त्यांच्या लक्षात राहणार माझा विषय गणित असायचा मी प्रमय जर पाळ्यावर लिहून दिलं आणि ते पुन्हा जरी विचारलं ते आहे तसं मी शिकवलं असं ते व्यवस्थित पक्ष साध्य सिद्धता हे सर्व आकृतीवरून जसं शिकवलं तसं सांगत असे त्यांच्या बुद्धिमत्तेची मी चमक त्यावेळेसच ओळखली आय थिंक आय हॅड टेकन टू डिसिजन्स ॲट दॅट टाईम आय डोंट नो वेदर दे वेअर व्हेरी व्हेरी क्लिअर 
uh, in terms of what I am today. But the two decisions were that uh, I want to go for teaching profession. That was certain. Whether it is uh, engineering profession, science profession, or medicine profession, but I will end up as a teacher. That was one. But uh, uh, the second passion was design, designing the new equipment. That I was certain that whatever I end up into, I would be designing new machines, new equipment, something innovative that I would do. Since childhood, Jesh Raj took special delight in teaching. His schoolmates often stayed overnight at his home to learn mathematics and science, which he simplified for them. He completed his education till 11th standard in Masur. For his inter science studies, Jesh Raj used to travel barefoot to reach Science College of Karad. <laughs> For higher education, he came to Mumbai's UD city. And when I came from Karad to Mumbai, that was a really very, very big step change. And uh, big change in culture. The, uh, my friends in my class, they used to speak uh, very good fluent English. And uh, there was a lot of sophistication in their behavior. So those changes I, uh, I experienced. But again, as far as academics is concerned, and performance was concerned, then I started earning ex respect pretty soon. J. Strath Joshi was a sincere student, always among the best performers. We used to go hiking uh, to many forts and uh, places in Sanyadri. For many years we continued this activity, especially in monsoon we were uh, always having <coughs> one hike and many of our friends used to join and that group swelled to a quite a large number. Our favorite place was uh, Rajmachi uh, in Mansoon. And we have covered many forts uh, in and around uh, Mumbai and this area. We are never on the same bench because I used to be always at the benches at the back, you know. But uh, I, 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 whatever uh, memories I have of him in, the, uh, in those days, that uh, because he came from a very humble uh, background and not from Bombay, you know, so the lifestyle is different, everything is different and he, he, he had come there for real studies, you know, well, we, uh, some of us were, uh, in, because we got into UDCT, so we were there, of course, uh, but uh, I, we, uh, I mean, I, whatever I remember of him, that he was a, a very gentle person and uh, quite involved in whatever he was doing. You know. He was frail, very shy boy, and couldn't speak much. But he came in my closer contact when he was in the final year. Uh, and I don't want to say what I did uh, for him uh, that he has quoted. My main job was that he, he being very brilliant and since he had some financial difficulties, he doesn't take up a job. I wanted him to continue for postgraduate studies, do PhD. In pursuit of that, I told him that uh, we'll buttress his financial income by making him a demonstrator. After completion of bachelor's degree, he got a rare opportunity to do research under the guidance and mentorship of renowned scientist and educationist, Professor M. M. Sharma. His uh, task was to do some very articulate experiments. He was sort of frail person, short in height, 
but he used to plan his experiments very meticulously. In fact, one of his vessels was a meter in diameter and almost three meters long, where we had one of our first uh, significant breakthroughs uh, of predictive values comparing with the experimental values. Um, he, he was very productive. With his passion for teaching and industrial design, J.S. Raj Joshi chose reactor design as his research topic. With his extremely curious outlook, he would set up experimental equipment almost equivalent to commercial size. This balanced approach of theory and experiments were to be the hallmark of Dr. J.B. Joshi's next 35 years of research career. He became an associate lecturer at the age of 23, teaching his students a balanced approach of theory and experiments. His students adored him as an affectionate, patient and persuasive teacher. Uh, my master's uh, program, I didn't have anyone to guide me. The only reason why I chose him, that the areas which he had listed out as um, possible areas of research somehow appealed to me in terms of their simplicity and also in terms of their expanse and, and in terms of their coverage of the entire gamut of chemical industry. So I thought at that point of time, if I get an opportunity to work in this area, I will not be limited in terms of chemical engineering um, research to a very narrow specific area, but whatever I am going to learn from this will allow me to broaden the research perspective in, uh, in total. So Professor Joshi has never taught me person, but whatever he has taught me, which is in my opinion I would say is, is extremely fortunate is always through one-to-one -one discussion. Rather than teaching a class of 60, he was taking a class of one and uh, telling me uh, things, how to do, how to think, how to think in terms of research, what methodology is to be followed in research. And this has had a lasting impression on, on me and I feel that at least partially I am uh, utilizing whatever I have learned uh, from that one-to-one -one teaching. Whenever he used to come to the lecture, he at, for 8.30 lecture, he most of the times come, comes inside the lecture room at 8.25. And later when I joined him as a research student, he only told me that if you want to teach some students, then you have to follow it. So don't say students that come on time. You be on time, people will follow you. Sir takes special care of the girl students. For instance, when I used to write, sit back late nights for my tropic approval reports and all, he ensured that, he used to tell me, it's late, don't go, you can stay in the hostel. He used to take care that we leave on time and we reach home on time. Second thing is when he was taking his lecture and lecture is over, he never kept the blackboard, whatever he has written on that. He always cleaned it. The reason behind it, he told me that when the next teacher comes, he shouldn't get annoyed because of such things that when he wants to start, he should ha have a fresh blackboard. Okay. I will tell that out of my teaching, 50% uh, is imported from J.B. Joshi and 50% has been imported from my father. Well, in terms of methodology, style and style of teaching, I must have picked up some mannerisms for sure. Uh, and, and I think what I am still learning is having or trying to have as much patience as Professor Joshi has uh, shown in all his dealings, whether he is dealing with teachers, whether he is dealing with students, whether he is dealing with uh, administrative staff, patience is one thing which I have learned from him and I'm, I'm, I still think that I am still learning. Uh, in Mumbai, if we go to Thane Belapur Road, sir has a wide consultancy. Uh, in his, uh, the prominent names are uh, Hindustan Organics and uh, uh, Marico Industries, uh, these uh, industries have benefited hugely and United Phosphorus Limited which has uh, benefited hugely because of uh, Professor Joshi's research. That's sort of all I can see. He discharges his duties as a, as a teacher very well, in fact a very popular teacher from very beginning. The another anecdote I should tell you because that's a benchmarker. 
And as he became lecturer, I know that he had financial. I said, I'll fix you as a consultant, but to start with summer placement on 5,000 rupees. His visionary approach influenced many an industrialist. His large number of novel designs were implemented in various plants and industries. Among the fields where he did notable work was de-bottle necking, now called as process intensification. Now if institute creates several ideas which are implemented in industry and after this implementation either turnover improves or profitability improves and this should not happen only once it should happen several times in a year year after year if this happens then there is a benefit to the industry now a part of the benefit that is just one percent if it comes to institution then that particular uh, funding to the institution is sufficient for fellowships for day-to-day -day expenditure that can happen among academics uh, you find uh, in India in particular, you don't have many consultants, all right? Um, whereas consultancy is taken as a normal profession abroad. Now, Dr. J.B. Zoshi uh, stands out uh, for having interacted with the chemical industry in such a way that he has helped them improve their uh, productivity, uh, sometimes by 50% and in many cases even by 100% and 100% plus. So his Early successes actually gave him a lot of reputation and uh, he happens to be uh, one of the highest paid consultants among the academics uh, in India. He does it as a researcher, as a scientist. He goes to the bottom of theory, he goes to knowledge and he doesn't sell technologies. Consultants would usually sell you technologies. J.B. Joshi comes in the place where consultants have failed. We approached Dr. J.B. Joshi because he was um, introduced to us as a uh, scientist who could help with our uh, processes and increase our efficiencies and uh, enable us to get the best from our plants. Uh, Dr. J.B. Joshi himself is a, an expert on mixing and mixing is a very important part of chemical um, uh, chemical processes. So we did uh, approach him and through him we have been working with all the professors who are relevant to us uh, in the university and we have benefited tremendously by this um, opening up the uh, uh, minds of our chemical engineers, opening up the minds of our scientists, um, getting the whole team right from the R&D team to the production team and the erection team all together on one platform with J.B. Joshi and then implementing new um, ways of doing things, or better ways of doing things, more efficient ways of doing things. In uh, India, the capital goods industry has developed very late and we were dependent on um, German or American uh, equipment designs for which uh, since the designs were not available, many uh, processes were not able to be uh, commercialized. Since he has become and he is available to industry as a consultant on multiphase reactor design, he has given a very simple and uh, indigenous uh, solutions for reactor design using his knowledge in mixing and reactor design, which has translated into development of Indian chemical industry on commercial scale also. In the year 1978, Dr. J. Raj Joshi got married to Rujuta. After their marriage, his career consistently continued towards progress and success. He is a loving husband, an affectionate father and a father-in-law. आणि सुरदय पण आहे त्यांना छोट्या छोट्या गोष्टीमध्ये सर्वांना किंवा छोट्या छोट्या गोष्टीमध्ये आनंद घ्यायला आवडतो सगळ्या छोट्या गोष्टीत मोठ्या गोष्टीत सर्व कुटुंबियांना त्याच्यामध्ये सामील करून घेऊन 
आनंद उत्सव करायला खूपच आवडतो त्यामुळे खूपदा असं होतं की काही छोटस निमित्त झालं की मित्रांना बोलव स्टुडंट्सना बोलव खायला प्यायला घ्याल आलेली व्यक्ती चहा खाणं पिणं करता न जाणं हेच बघतात ते आणि जसं उत्तुंग म्हणण्यापेक्षा की ते आंतरराष्ट्रीय आहेत त्यामुळे असं होतं की ते देशोदेशीही फिरत असतात तिथल्या डिशेस चवीनी खातात तरी सुद्धा त्यांना जर वांग्याच्या भरीत भाकरी आणि कांदा दिलं तर ते एकदम प्रेमाने आणि मनसोक्त खातात ती डिश त्यांना खूपच आवडते इन माय ट्वेल्थ एक्झामिनेशन आय गॉट व्हेरी गुड मार्क्स सो ही जस्ट अज्युम दॅट आय विल जॉईन युडीसीटी बट ऑन वन फाईन इव्हनिंग आय टोल्ड हिम दॅट आय एम नॉट जॉईनिंग युडीसीटी बिकॉज यू आर एच ओडी हिअर अँड आय डोंट वॉन्ट टू अटेंड अ कॉलेज वेअर यू आर एच ओडी ॲट दॅट टाइम ही वॉज एच ओडी so uh, so he he was shocked because he just assumed that uh, i will i will i will not go anywhere else than udcit because uh, all my lifetime uh, i have been visiting udcit i have been uh, l- listening about udcit and only udcit but uh, but i just came up with uh, different uh, different college names like vizetia swami vivekanand sardar patel and so on so he he asked me to he so there was a one month one month time when we had a big fight uh, of uh, udcit versus all other colleges so uh, so i told him I, i don't have any problem with chemical engineering i just don't want to go to udcit at that time i remember he had told me that if you want to do chemical then come to udcit otherwise uh, otherwise just uh, uh, we will go for something else and so i joined uh, information technology uh, it was a new topic at that time yeah i just remember that uh, before we went for shopping for the sarees he had asked me to prepare a presentation of all the sarees available in india so uh, like take pictures and descriptions and uh, we had actually added made added make that and uh, we actually uh, got a projector from the lab and uh, we saw it uh, in the house that uh, all what all kinds of sarees are available in india which uh, what is the speciality so he was like we will t- buy every one saree of every kind and uh, uh, very enthu- enthusiastically he uh, had said all that but it was really fun fun preparing all that shlok jeva paath jhala ke nahi asa ami baghaycho tya vela tyacha chehrya varun asa vataycho nahi ki anna cha shlok paath jhala hai पण प्रत्यक्षात मात्र म्हणून दाखवताना त्याचा श्लोक पाठ झालेला असायचा आणि बाकीचे जे आम्ही होतो ते कुठं ना कुठंतरी चुकायचं आणि मग तेव्हा माझ्या लक्षात आलं की हा काहीतरी वेगळी आयडिया करतोय आणि दाखवत नाहीये आपल्याला हा म्हणजे कुठंतरी असं जाणवायचं की आपण हा गुण त्याच्याकडून घेऊया पण त्या लहान वयात काही कळत नव्हतं आत्ता जाणवत आहे की तो असं कसं करत होता ते त्यावेळेला तो मला एकदा असं म्हणून गेला की नंदिनी आपण जे बोलतो ते वाया नाही गेलं पाहिजे या या शब्दाचाही अर्थ मला त्या लहान वयात कळला नाही की जो मला आत्ता कळतोय डॉक्टर जोशी हॅज गायडेड सिक्स्टी पी एच डी स्टुडंट्स अँड अन इक्वल नंबर ऑफ मास्टर्स स्टुडंट्स विथ हिज कोलॅबरेटर्स ही हॅज पब्लिश ओव्हर थ्री हंड्रेड पेपर्स इन इंटरनॅशनल जर्नल्स डॉक्टर जोशी हॅज बीन कन्फर्ड विथ मोर दॅन फोर थाउजंड टू हंड्रेड सायटेशन्स ही इज अन इंजिनिअरिंग टीचर with largest number of citations in india he is among the industry's most sought after academic consultants in india and abroad dr joshi became head of chemical engineering department in 1998 and director of udcit in 1999 at the age of 50 udcit was earlier a part of university of mumbai through the efforts of professor sharma it became the best postgraduate research institute in india udcit gained the status of an autonomous university in 2008 what jb joshi has achieved is over and above all this because now to be completely independent of university and heading in the direction of being a deemed university is an extremely difficult task and it requires patience it requires persuasion it requires skills of various kind networking with lot of people at different levels and he has done an extraordinary job in that i, I would pay tributes to him and i would say 
that uh, the change that has come up in uh, for, from a department moving finally uh, to uh, an autonomous institution and finally to a dim university uh, enormous credit uh, goes to dr jagdish i know that he has been doing a lot of uh, uh, philanthropy with his money which he earns and he is spending a lot of it back into university this is also most unusual because uh, uh, there is very rarely a case where uh, an individual earns uh, a consultancy money and part of it of course is supposed to be going to institution like many times one third goes to the institution but he on his own i mean if he earns a crore uh, sometimes 90 lakhs he has uh, given back uh, uh, to the to the to the laboratory i mean he is an extraordinarily uh, generous uh, uh, individual with a philanthropic bend of uh, uh, attitude which uh, you will rarely find elsewhere i have not only i have heard i have uh, witnessed also several occasions it is said that uh, it's very difficult to find a generous person but it is even much more difficult to find a generous person who wants to keep that in secret that he doesn't even want to tell others what great act he has done i have witnessed him uh, signing at the back of a check a very high amount of royalty which he has received for his patents abroad i've seen him directly signing that check in the name of institute without even saying as it is said ya kana se kya kana la khata ka mane without even a whisper he himself doesn't know one part doesn't know the other part so he not only is very generous he just doesn't want to even say that or let people know how big heart he has in this success dr joshi's contribution was phenomenal during his tenure UDCT registered tremendous development in all the quarters. Dr. J. S. R. Joshi is a visionary to the core, a hard-working intellectual, and a socially committed human being. The numerous national and international awards and accolades are just one side of the story. In a sense, when technology needed a humane catalyst, Dr. J. B. Joshi proved to be just that and much more.